going to want to look at that. And then you're actually going to look at the blood pressure. An attempted lifeline from Premier Doug Ford to keep and expand the number of family doctors in Ontario with medical students by his side, offering some incentives to stick around to practice in this province. There was 18% students from around the world taking our kids' seats and then not even staying here and going back to their country and it's just not right. So now it's going to be 100% Canadian, 95% uh, Ontario. The province plans to offer up $88 million to expand Learn and Stay grants to help cover the cost of tuition for more than 1,300 medical students if they agree to work as doctors in Ontario for five years after graduating. Ontario students need to come first. We are going to prioritize Ontario residents because those are our taxpayers that are paying those students to go to school. Ford's opposition at Queen's Park, meanwhile, says banning potential students isn't the answer and the money should go into programs so more people can graduate. Quote, we need more doctors, not less. At a time when we have more than two million people without a family doctor, we want to see more publicly funded residency positions. As always, this government's priorities are in all the wrong places. The Ontario Medical Association says one in four people in Ontario are without a family doctor. The province estimates this funding will help connect another 1.36 million people to primary care. But will limitations on who is allowed to study here pay off. And I'll say that the, the details around that part of the announcement are best left to the, the government. What I'm focused on is making sure that our students feel supported, that our medical students feel encouraged and inspired to go into family practice. The news comes days after former Liberal Health Minister Dr. Jane Philpott was appointed to lead a new provincial team dedicated to funding primary care for more people. We all agree 90% does not cut it. That's unacceptable in my opinion and I know our minister's opinion. We have to connect 100% of the people and we can't stop there and we won't. One of the medical students who was in attendance called the announcement life-changing, although the grant won't be available until 2026. In response, the premier turned around, looked at his finance minister, called him Mr. Moneybags and said he would look to backtrack this a year or two in order to take care of the debt that they'll be taking on. Mark McAllister, City News.